Yeah, it definitely can be. And you know, the thing is, though, yeah, long as. To be honest, I still don't see my beauty. I didn't. I was just starting to kind of recognize my beauty, but the way people are looking at me now, like, they don't even know what I'm No, you I feel you. You ain't never overdo it. Like, oh my gosh, you're so this, you're so that. I just decide I am like, you're so big. Check on Sheena the- real quick. Sheena, you okay? What's up? What you mean? You know, you know. I see you got that smile going. Okay, okay. I'm just happy in, to so see you everybody. Okay, happy to see everybody today. We got seven, seven beautiful people in the building. Smile. I'm trying to get everybody ready for this new, uh, this new episode. Hold on, Miss Miss Lady, you gonna you gonna speak up? Huh? <laughs> I'm trying to get everybody ready for these uh these new episodes. Me and Mister Ray got coming tonight. Definitely finna get it going tonight. Um. <laughs> But I wanted to, you know, I seen you knocking at the door. I wanted to check in first. Look, like, hold on, now. Nah. She knew the first person knock on my door. Michaela, got 10 folks up in here. Hey. How y'all doing? Kings and queens, how you doing? Hello, hi. But how the fam bam doing, Miss Shina, though? How y'all doing? Uh, we're getting there. I just. That's what it is, though. I've been working a lot and I've been doing this and doing that, trying to take my mind off of it. Even though it only works even though it works a little bit, but it's something. Something better than nothing, okay. It's a good start. Yeah, I had um um I had talked to an old friend of mine and I told her my situation. She was like, ever thought about ever ever thought about talking to a therapist or somebody? And I was like, what does that to do with my situation? She was like, I guess if you you fix yourself first before you try to fix your family. And I was like, hmm. Make perfect sense. Because right. it's like, hmm? you know, the one thing that's for certain in situations is how you feel about it, right? We don't know how nobody else feel about nothing but ourselves. So if you change the way you feel about things, you essentially change the way things are. So you want things to change, you got to change how you looking at it. You know what I'm saying? So once you fix yourself, you know, and how you looking at stuff, everything else will fall into place. Even if it still ain't how you want it to be, you'll be mentally prepared to make. It. You see what I'm saying? But when we ain't mentally prepared to make those changes, we depended on other people to actually do what's right. Um, and you know, we we here now for that reason because we left it up to other people. The only difference in each situation is how you feel about it. So once you change the way you feel about it, you'll start to see those changes you want to see. And if not, you'll be able to implement it because you'll be strong enough to recognize it. And like, because first you got to be real with you about your own decisions or your own feelings. You know what I'm saying? Then you can in turn make those changes you want to see, though. What's up with it, Ashley? But yeah, you got this, champ. Though it's it's part of your journey. It's part of your journey. Just make sure everything you're going through make it make you a stronger you, not a weakened version. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a sacrifice, but the other side of sacrifice is the afterlife. You feel me? And the afterlife is supposed to be heaven, right? So just make sure you keep working towards your heaven. Don't be tripping on all this. You know what I'm saying? This desolate stuff. You feel me? Feeling by yourself, alone. You're not alone on this. Thank You're not the only one going through this type of stuff either. You know what I'm saying? So when you feel like you can't own your situation and speak about it, that situation still got you. You know what I mean? So. Any chance you get, like matter of fact, reach out to us. We we definitely that's what we here for. You know what I'm saying? If you can't find it, like, cause for a lot of people, you know, it, it's a struggle to find a therapist that get where you going. 
You know what I'm saying? Like they coming from different backgrounds, don't understand what your goal is and how to get you there. See what I'm saying? So definitely reach out to us. That's definitely where we we hmm. we just look at the ancestors and bring you what you need again. It's what you need now, nah, but <laughs> we got you though. We got you. Don't even trip. You are in and through our interactions already. You already know. I know how to. You know what I'm saying? We through some of the stuff that you might not be ready to talk about, but need to get out your, you know what I'm saying? Get out your own way. You got this, though. You're right. You got this. Sometimes we just, you know, we be we be <laughs> losing confidence in ourselves based on what we don't do. You know what I'm saying? Like, confidence is developed based on your experiences with your own actions. So the more you get opportunities to do that in controlled environments, I know how I feel. To be feeling like if I make this one mistake, it's gonna cost me my life. So then you become inactive. Like I know that finish. Like uh uh. But you know you done looked up five years done went by. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the top gifters and top tappers in that building. But now nah, let me let me run this back with you one more time though. How your king been though? Nah. He coming on. That's another thing, see. Yeah, he you know. still keeps saying, he still keeps saying that he hate that I had um introduced him to my mom. I mean, I regret it too because I was really hoping that she was actually going to accept. Yeah. Um. But. She she wants me to date who she wants me to date. Appreciate them likes, Kyle. Thank you for the run. And I'm just like, and I'm just like, I don't want to date the type of people that you want me to date. You want me to date somebody that's in school, that's a doctor, that's this and that's that you know, already successful. But successful people cheat too. So what's the difference? I mean, this one thing you gotta understand: um, your happiness is your happiness. Um, exactly. Everybody's not, yeah, everybody not gonna be happy for you in the way that you might feel like they should be. Um, majority of the time, it's gonna be the people that you think should be happy for you that ain't. Um, and it's not for like you know I'm your mother, so it's not for a lack of love. But I would say, you know, sometimes we see ourselves and you know, other people. And rather than us just, how you doing, Bree? Rather than us just be like, you know what? I'm going to help this person through this. Sometimes we try to squash that in other people. Like, I use myself for an example. There was times I had to realize I need to start being so, um, so hard on my cancer daughter because she was very emotional. You know what I'm saying? She a water sign, you feel me? But I used to be trying to tell her, like, and keep doing this because other people are going to try to prey on you for that. So in turn, when she used to be crying all the time, she used to be like, stop, baby. You know what I'm saying? Not realizing her strength is in her being able to, you know, refresh herself after letting go of them tears. You see what I'm saying? So I have to just create an environment where she knows, hey, take this time for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can't give that energy to everybody else. But if that helps you take that time for yourself, Go handle that over there in your space or with people that you can, you know, be safe with. So I started letting her do that with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's time to me and her be crying together. You feel me? We get that on out. And then we talk about how we going to fix our issues. You feel me? And, hey, we be better for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just thinking about some little past moments me and her just had, really. But when she lost her two front teeth, she was like, Daddy, people going to be trying to joke. I'm like, baby, no. No, we don't care. Daddy think you beautiful. Who cares? Remember, people joke because they not feeling that well. So don't get caught up in people jokes or you're not going to be feeling well. But thing thing go with us. Same thing. You know, adults play ugly tricks. You know what I'm saying? On each other. And we think it's a joke. Like, oh, like, you know, your parent will do something to you and then just expect you to be cool with them again. Like, hold on, G. Nah, bro. Nah, you, 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 exactly. but you can't, you see what I'm saying? Like, if it take somebody doing something hateful for you to love yourself, then you got to question yourself. Like, 
what's wrong with me that I don't love myself on a person on a on a daily basis before somebody doing this to me? And if you do, then guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna start protecting ourselves a lot better. You see what I'm saying? On a daily basis, we're gonna protect ourselves from these type of things. This happens so you can learn to protect yourself. You might feel like, shoot, I shouldn't have to protect myself from my mama, but hey, if you don't know how to protect yourself from your mama, who else you gonna know how to protect yourself from? Like, you know what I'm saying? At that point, you know, can't nobody play no games up on you, you feel me? Like, I'm such and such to you. No, you you nobody to me if you ain't acting right. If you're not fitting the bill of what you should be doing for real, like, you nobody to me. And in order to make certain changes in your life, you got to get to that point where, shoot, it's all or nothing for real. It's all going towards the goal or I ain't doing none of that. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, I got some little people coming in. Let me make sure we don't get no distractions real quick. Hold on. You know how that go. When you get to get into the meat of the conversation, here come the distractions. Go ahead. I'm listening. So I had talked to a friend of mine. Now, he could relate. He said he got a teenage daughter that wants everything her way. <laughs> and um, she's at her grandma's house now. She was telling her grandma and everybody talking about they not, talking about they not doing her right. All because right. she won't give them away. And of course, my oldest, she's in that phase too. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm glad I, I'm glad I'm talking to somebody that can relate. And I was like, he didn't do anything about it. And he was like, no, all I could do is just. All I could do is pray. I keep praying and hoping that, you know, she'll come back home. And I'm like, mm. What's up, Skull? My bad. Good to see you, though. Yeah, I mean, she's she telling everybody like... that. she been telling everybody I don't want to buy her, like, you know, the material things she wants. Like, Hold on, your out. She, yes, I overheard her Thank talk to Kyle one of her friends through. talking about I don't ever buy her an iPhone or a basketball. Goal, follow, like. I'm following you back, Kyle. <laughs> and I'm like That's crazy. I don't have I don't have it. Like I'm doing the best I can. Like just because your friends' parents do that stuff doesn't mean I gotta do it. Big old fags. And it don't mean you don't um, care if you don't do it. You wanna go to the store real quick to go get bags? Yeah, give me a... So <sighs> when's she ever gonna when's she ever gonna come around? I don't know. Right, right, right.
looking for opportunity to be that way. Like, I want to be, you know, loving. I want to be queen and, you know, saying stuff to the queens and really mean it, which I do. But I felt like a lot of times it get misconstrued it, um, as well as it get abused <laughs> to an extent. So that being said, I'm glad certain things happen to bring um, other things back into focus. Like, yeah. you know, what are we doing for real? Like, are we as a people really saying these phrases just to manipulate each other? You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't going to lie to you. It, it's very hurtful when I hear the queen say, you know, I don't trust that. You know what I'm saying? You know how many dudes saying, what up, queen? And, you know, still out here trying to pimp or still out here trying to, you know, do different things right. that ain't beneficial to the community. So, for me, I'm like, yeah, what we doing? You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to check check our brothers and our sisters for this because we can't be using the same tactics that, you know, society is using. Like, society find out our different ways of culture and they manipulate these things against us. So for us to turn around, learn about our culture, and then in turn use it against each other, like, come on, G. You know, let's be for real. You know, there's still men and women out here that are still working on themselves, you know, but they... They they use certain terms, um, but I feel like though it gets to a point when certain people get around certain crowds, they feel like they just got free reign, and we starting to see the play out of that. Um, I think <laughs> due to my brotherly love, I think a lot of people think that uh, I don't have no feelings, but uh, yeah, mm, I think <laughs> I think they don't appreciate my kindness either. Cause I'm the type of person like I'm not gonna sit over here and just be um, having certain situations like you know you go in certain people live if it's certain women in there or certain type of people in there they'll block you up out of there because they don't want you to get no attention you know what I'm saying right. whereas me I'm like sure come on come on um, because you can't you can't steal who I who I'm genuinely you know what I'm saying who I am genuinely you can't take that you might can fake it a little bit. But it's really just going to put a target on your back because people going to be like, hold on. Let me see if you consistent with it. What's up with it, Darius? Let me see if you really serious about it. So this is a warning um, to those who might feel like, yeah, you already know I did. <laughs> this is a warning to those who might feel like, um, you know, it's okay. Like, don't get me wrong. It's okay to emulate or it's okay to pick up different things from certain people. But be careful. And that's why the topic is saying, what are we doing? Like, are you just picking up different slang from other people just so you can turn around and manipulate other people with it? Or did you really develop in your mind? Like, I developed in my mind, I want to speak to my brothers and my sisters in a certain tone that to make them rise to the occasion. I want them to recognize that this is how I see you, and I don't want to view you no other way. So this is how I'm going to talk to you. This is how I'm going to address you. But for a lot of people, it's like, you know, I'm going to call you king. So, you know, I get your attention, but I'm going to in turn build you up just to tear you down. Um, and I feel like that's, you know, that's something that we got to ask ourselves. What are we doing? Why are we, you know, building each other up just to tear each other down? Why are we looking at each other from standpoints that we can't exist under now? Like, if every time you see somebody, the only thing you think about is, you know, how you can manipulate them with your, uh, with your energy. Um, that's my new way of talking about, you know, grown-up activities. You know, like, every time you see somebody, you're just thinking about how you're going to manipulate them with your energy. Like, even that, you need to stop. Because at that point, you just, you know, <laughs> interacting in that form just to s soothe your own insecurities. To that point, you, you're using that person. Um, you're draining that person. And every time y'all get through, you're going to always feel like, damn, what was I doing it for? <laughs> Oh, y'all didn't think I knew that. Oh, I know that because I, I used to do it. I used to do it. And now it's to the point like I don't want it if it's on that level because I understand how draining that stuff can be and how I was draining somebody else, including me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me on this code? Because, boy, we be laying down thinking somebody else supposed to make us feel better. Like, hold up, hold up. Hey, hey. <laughs> um, um, um. If that's what you're looking for, that's what you're going to get, so to speak. But how long is it going to last? Like I always tell people, we be having these symbolic victories, you know. In the moment, it felt good, you know. 
for a few hours, it felt good, you know. But then after that, it's like, what did I really do it for? What was the point of it all? What's up with it, Mr. Lamont? And if that's how you feeling today, y'all, I need you to recognize you only interacting with people on a level. You want them to make you feel better about yourself. You're supposed to make yourself happy. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't know what it takes to make yourself happy, you can't be happy with nobody else. Let's be for real. You, you might have some little momentary symbolic victories, like such and such brought me a, bought me a piece of paper that said I should be happy, you know, in case of cards. <laughs> and then, you know, you reminded for that little short period of time, but after that, it's over with. After that, it's over with. And then you like, what was it all for? If you had their, their energy attached and whoever they have been with before you, att- man, come on. Now you got insecurities on top of insecurities. You feel me on this score? Because the last person they was doing it with was doing it for their insecurity. Now you doing it for your insecurities and them as well. It's like, come on, you got a whole bunch of insecure folk sitting over here thinking because they had an interaction with you that you just supposed to be like, you know what? I'm in love with you because we did X, Y, Z. Now hold on now. This finna lead to a topic. Because... At one point in time, when we had these so-called exchanges of energy, you feel me, as as adults, it was considered, okay, to me, I see you in a minute. Could you please share the live on your way out? Um, it was considered an act of, you know, commitment. It was considered something you did to show this person, you know, I want to be with you, be with you. You know what I'm saying? This ain't just no, you know what I'm saying? This just ain't no play play. But when that gets reversed, right? to where the end act becomes the first act, now you have to look back and say, hold on, how did we get here? What we doing? Like, what we doing? And at that point, point, you begin to recognize what this interaction really is between you and that person. You know what I'm saying? Like, is is it an interaction of like, you know what? We just drained each other for a little while and you know, you know what I'm saying? Eat dinner and you know, go on about our business. So we can at least say we had somebody that gave a darn about us, you know. Or, you know, is the interaction that I have with this person something that we are always cultivating. So the end goal is still the end goal, but it's going to take a little, you know, take a little time to get there. But we know, hey, we got that, you know, we got that interaction. We got that interaction right now. Stop bugging your sister. Sit down somewhere, my G. You're going to realize when this stuff you can't do for yourself, it's probably not needed for you to do. Um, but, yeah, got to pay attention to those interactions that we have and just to make ourselves feel like, you know, I, I can be happy because somebody gave a darn enough to exchange energy with me. Um, but is that proper energy being exchanged? Is it, is it for clout? You know what I'm saying? Because if, if that's the case, y'all just – Exchange of energy, y'all really got a clout relationship. You know what I'm saying? You don't want nobody to recognize you don't got nobody. So so don't nobody recognize that you have a little buddy on, you know what I'm saying? That's a side buddy, not a full commitment. Not a um a real situation, but something that you you know, it's just a feel situation. It made me feel good for a little minute. And I think a lot of people, that's really what they chasing out here, so they don't care who they attach themselves to. They could see me or they could see Saray and be like, you know what? I just, you know, it seemed like she happy. Um, he seemed like he happy, you know what I'm saying? And that's where the attachments come in. You know, if we ever want to know, like, why it seemed like people are trying to interfere in other people's situation. And it's because, like, people energy, you know, they see that energy and they just, like, shoot, it look like they happy. Let me interact with them at any capacity. At any capacity. Not not never thinking like, dang, what about these same people that, you know, I enjoy their energy? How they going to feel? How they going to feel when, when certain things is revealed? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Is this same person who I look up to going to be like, dang, you know, that's okay. I mean, sure, they might say it's okay, but at the same time be like, you know what? I know how to, you know, I know how to move when, when things come from your way. How you feel about that, sir? Um, like when somebody, basically, I'm gonna put it to you like this: when somebody you uh, considered a friend, 
do things that ain't so friendly. What's up with it, Melanin King? And um, subsequently, Kyle, they said, want to take your space. Or what they thought was your space. Like, you know, people be assuming super hard. What's up with it, Melanin King? How you feeling, my G? I don't respect it. My brother. How you doing, King? How are you? Sec. Man, I'm doing all right. But go ahead. Okay. What'd you say, Queen? I was saying I don't respect it. Like, um, I, I especially like you know the term, the the term. Uh, you'll see. Let me. I'm trying to put it in a way. I just don't. I don't respect fake love. I don't respect phony. Like I, I can't do. It. I don't do playing in my face. I'm not gonna play in your face. I come from a city where if we say we don't like you, you mean that. And that's that. Like, there's no need to speak. That's that on that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I don't do the, the nice, nasty how you move up here where I'm at now. Like, that's, that's too much. It's too much. So all that to, to go back to what you're saying, like, if, if I have a friend or somebody that I'm talking to or whatever, and they get to me into their circle and I'm, I'm getting acquainted with their friends or whatever, whatever, I'm a great reader. I'm a very great reader on you. And I done spotted I'm the still thing. here, baby. I'm I, done, I done spotted the phoniness off rip. But for me, it's like when they start to approach me in a manner and still trying to downplay the one who initially brought me in the circle, I don't respect it at all. I'm removing myself out of that circle wholeheartedly. Then I'm going to go back and tell my friend or who I consider my friend, hey, you got a lot of snakes in your brains. And I'm not coming around no That's That's just how I feel about that topic. Do you know what's going on? Do you have a response to that? Um, what's your name? Melanin? Melanin King? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a response to that? Or any input? Well, not really. I mean, it seems pretty. It seems pretty cut and dry. <laughs> well, how do you how I do mean, you deal? How how would you deal? You you have a a, a person of interest, right? Because that's really where this is stemming from. You have a, a person of interest. It's not solid or anything, but it's a person of interest, and you bring them around your friends, right? Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, your friends. I'm basically trying to cut your cut your legs off and and backdoor you. Well, and me myself. Oh, well, me myself. How you feeling about that, Melanin King? Well, me myself, I am a I'm always a person that like to think of myself as a leader myself. So, if somebody's trying to cut my legs off, I'm going to remove that person or those people. From my, from, from 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 my life, because if you're not trying to help me, if you're not trying to help me hmm. be successful and, and strive for goodness and righteousness, I don't want to be nowhere around you. Period. So you are you getting to that term? Because I know this, that's always been the term. Yeah, that's what she said. So you get to, into that like it's my friend. Or it's my friend yeah. I've never I've never liked that term because the whole time is why do I want to hang around a bunch of bros when I can hang around my girl? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gay, <laughs> so I don't want to hang around. I don't want to hang around a whole bunch of bros. <laughs> now, going out with my boys, like every once in a while, that's cool. That's cool, but. If I'm in, uh, if I'm in, a, let's say, for instance, if I'm in a relationship, and I'm gonna choose my bros over my over my girl, no, I'm gonna choose my girl over my bros, because that's gonna be the woman that's gonna be right there by my that's side to thick it thin, a hundred percent. My bros, they only there for me when I'm drinking, uh, 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 going out to the bar or what what not. She's gonna, she she makes my dinner. She makes sure my kids are all right. 
she made she she made sure that I'm doing good. So that that bros before hoes did uh, I, I, I've never liked that. I've never even when even when I was in my clubbing days, I never liked that. Was, I don't nah. Especially with the people I grew up around, they like, dude. Why would you want to roll with a whole car for the uh, dudes when you can roll with a whole car for the females? Ugh. I don't. I don't really like that. First of all, first of all, you take it to the source. You pull them by the coattail. And you tell, hey, look, man, straight up, this is how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Come at them, come at, come at them, come at them real, but come at them stern. Like, hey man, look, check this out. This is how I feel. You know what I'm saying? And if they don't, if they're not feeling you on that level, then I cut them off. Straight up. I tried to bring it to you. I tried to bring it to you as a man or as a woman. You didn't reciprocate. I'm cutting you off. Point blank. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Because nobody, you got you. You got nobody, you nobody, nobody is worth your mental stability or or, or your peace of mind. You got you. Nobody's worth that. Right. So, if you have to, if you have to cut them off. Leave him alone. Not at all. <laughs> so, what about you? Did my boy, did, 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 my, did my boy, did my boy freeze? <laughs> I thought you froze for a minute. I'm off in the... I'm off in the country. I'm off oh, in the country. Sure. Can y'all hear me oh. better? Yeah, I would love me. I want to be at Melody King. You already know. I would. I would love. I would, I would, lo yeah, I would love. I love. I would love me a house in the country. I'm trying to tell you, speaking into existence. Not who I was yesterday. What's up, just who I am? Um. Now, what was the question, though? The new person basically brought it to my attention. You feel me? I'm not finna sit there and cut them off, cause they showing a form of loyalty by even, you know what I'm saying? Let you know what it is. Now, as far as the disloyalty between the, you know, the people that was there before, I'm gonna take that into consideration. Um, but I know a lot of people, you know, they used to, you know, people just blowing their top or, um, you know, only dealing with things certain ways. Certain ways for me though. I'm the type of person though, once I find out people own that type of stuff, um, for one, I'm glad that it was brought to my attention. You feel me? That's what I'm gonna be like, okay, appreciate you bringing that to my attention. Now, as far as how I'm gonna gauge each situation, it will be different. Um, certain situations, I'm just gonna kill them with kindness because I'm not gonna come out of my hookup or, you know, my blessed state to address, you know, basically some negativity because I see it as a distraction for real. Um, 
Right, right. As well as an opportunity to teach maybe a brother or a sister. Like, this how you deal with, you know, so-called haters. Or this how you deal with people coming at your relationship. Um, which may, later on, they might be in that same position and then in turn, like, remember that situation. Like, they might not appreciate it when I did it the first time. But once they in that situation and somebody trying to come at their relationship and they got to treat mm -hmm. somebody else with kindness, they're going to be like, darn, so this is what gold was trying to show me. You see what I'm saying? Um, right. And because if I return <clears throat> that, that negativity to them, that's really what some people be looking for. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They be, you know how they say people used to try to get police officers back in the day to take their lives. So they used to mm -hmm. call it a certain thing. You feel me? I feel like a lot yeah. of people want you to take their life. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, I'm not gonna give you that that option of opting out the things that you're gonna learn through going through some of this pain in life. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. So that's where, like, as my grandma would say, that's how I would hope I am. You feel me? Like, because I'm human just like everybody else. You might catch me in a moment and I might act a darn fool, but this is how I would hope to respond. This is how I practice to respond to people in those right. ways. Um, and honestly, my biggest fear with responding that way isn't that, you know, those same people would take me out. Bro, we got somebody sitting over there. Um, isn't that those people would try to take me out, but it's really that the people who I do it for don't appreciate it. Like, I know a lot of my queens are taught that, you know, men respond in certain ways. So when I do respond this way, you know, which is the opposite of what dominant society say we should act like, um, Sometimes the queens think that you're not protecting them when you don't just jump off the handle and act a darn fool. Right. And truth be told, I could protect you for that one moment. You see what I'm saying? But won't be able to protect you for the rest of your lifetime. Which one do you want? You see what I'm saying? Like, I could act a fool in that one moment and give you that false sense of protection, that puffed up sense of protection, but then be locked up for the rest of my life over something that really didn't have to go that far. I could have diffused the situation, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Like, rather than being diffused, it blew it, you know what I mean? Like, mm -mm. I'm going to have you believe her because I, I've dated men, boys, men, throughout my journey. And I'm going about them right. And I understand I'm the new one coming in, but I've them. And they've gotten upset. So... I leave. All right, that's your boy. Because I'm a big believer. If they can sit there and try to snatch your know, woman or something up or a person of interest, they'll steal from you. They'll take your the money. And they never ever, and this never fail. They never ever believe me. And then hindsight, then when I'm going, or we make bumps into each other, mm -hmm. whatever. Legit, I promise you, I'm hearing the story of how this person just stole their money or backboard them on an idea or cut them out of the deal or something like that. And I hope it's done like parties and events and hosting and stuff like that. And it's like, duh. I was trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. I was trying no, to warn you. And when they don't listen, they got to suffer the consequences. Like, not, that was my... Step when I don't want to be around. I don't want to be around. Like I said, I don't hang with snake things. So if I see they can do you in, and y'all know each other the longest, that means that person don't have any loyalty. So I know I'm dead. I gotta go. Right. You ain't got a shot. You need to stop there on the way out. Please. Yeah. And that, yeah. that's the re Go ahead, King. Uh, you, the thing with, with that is, you're right, King. Because there's a way to protect your woman without having to, to have to resort to brute force, right? And, right. and, end, and end up in jail. You know, mm -hmm. So you take it to the source. Like I said, you take it to the source. Like you know, dude, this is what I heard. This is how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And hope for the best. But like you said, sometimes somebody somebody try to bring out their character. You gotta keep Real that. Quick. You gotta keep that composure, composure about yourself, because not just you, but you got other people watching around you too, waiting for you to step right. out of your character. So you gotta think, what's gonna be the best way to handle this? Gotta be so strategic. Is it hard, so is it hard, like, go, 
It's like you, I, I know, you love playing the whole killer with condoms. Exactly. I, I, I cut it out. I'm not killing it with condoms. I just connect. It's not, it's not volatile. It's not confrontational. I just go. Like, I just just hit it. It's nothing there. You like to be the whole killer with kindness, but I'm feeling like if you already know what it is. Well, Queen, when you kill him with kindness, you can kill him with kindness and still cut him out. Number. But you still allow him in your space and in your energy and in your face. Mm. I don't want you around here at all. I feel you. Nah, I mean, it's kindness to put distance between you and other people too, though. You know what yep. I'm saying? Like, that is love. I no, I'm saying distance. I'm saying non-existent, like they yep. are in there non-existent. You don't, you don't, like you said, they already know why you don't mess with them. I don't gotta tell you, hey, I don't yep. mess with you. You know how some yep. people they want to, they want to let them know, I don't mess with you. Like, nah, you don't gotta tell them nothing. Put that distance you, between you, them, you and them. They figure it out. You have to protect your peace right. by any by any means. Protect your peace. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, that means, well, that means, just hey, man, I'm not dealing with you. You don't even gotta tell them that you ain't dealing with them. Just, just don't deal with them. Just don't. Mm -hmm. That's my point. Just don't. I don't. I'm not gonna entertain. Once, once I have the revelation and you don't feel it, I'm gonna move you are to me. Mm -hmm. Like what's your intention, God? Like you know, I'm gone. Exactly. Just sleep. You sleep from day. I'm out. I don't have time for you to sit. Oh, boy, you know, sleep. To the fire, plot, plant, nothing, nothing. Exactly. That's what you get. That's what you get. No, it's right there. That is not it. Yeah, next to it. Because people are sitting there. This dude. They'll sit there next to you. You know what I mean? They'll be knowing that you don't keep that game and still be in your face playing and stuff. And really plotting something vicious against you. I don't want to give you that space and opportunity. No. Don't be, dirty. Don't be acting a fool in here, okay? You don't want to give nobody that opportunity because sure. another thing is hatred consumes hatred. So instead of, instead of hating you or, 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 or going off on you, I'm just going to do it like this. You did this. I didn't like this. I'm done. I'm done. Period. I'm done. Like you said, I'm grown. You can take that high school childish stuff. And go about your business. I'm done. But you ain't gotta be. You ain't gotta be like aggressive to do it. You know, so just like I'm done. I'm good. Nobody, nobody can control you but you. And when you get, and when you give into that, when you give into that negative energy, you're letting them control you. So you don't give it to that negative energy. You 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 kind of push that negative energy off. Like, okay, okay, you did that. You was faulty. You was shysty. Right. I'm 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 good. <laughs> I'm good. Right. <laughs> I I had to learn that. I'm not perfect, man. Cause I had to learn that. Because I was a fighter. You know, I, I I used to I used to run with the GDs, the Gates Disciples, and, and and you know it was all about all the development. Yeah, run, exactly, exactly. You know what it is, <laughs> but uh, and it was all about the streets. You know what I'm saying? And for our standpoint, before before it became growth and development, for our standpoint, it was all about and you do something to me, man, I'm going to get you. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you have to grow up and change your... If we don't change our mind, our mindset, we're going to poison our bodies. If we don't change our mindset, we're going to poison our minds. But we have to change our whole mindset and think, what is our future? Do I want a future of going back and forth to jail? Do I want a future of toxic relationships? Do I want a future of, uh, of, of negative behavior? 
No, man. I want a future of positivity. I want a future of love. I want a future a, a future of just being there for people. That's why I changed my whole mind mindset. Like I love all my kings and queens to death. And I will go, I will go, I will, I will walk through hell for you. But you got you, you gotta change too. I can't just walk through hell for somebody that ain't gonna change. Right. You know, sidebar with that. Like I wish growth and development in the other organization. I wish that instead part instead of the violence that they promote or that the stigma that they have on them, they have so much impact on the youth. And if they could just round them up and unite and get the kids in line, it would be a powerful thing. Instead of worried about pulling like the territory. Y'all take it easy, man. Yes, sir. Man, I apologize, y'all. Okay. That's okay. That's okay, King. I hope y'all didn't hear nothing that was going on in my bedroom. That's okay, King. We didn't. We, we ain't paying attention. Wow, <laughs> That's your business. <laughs> man, appreciate you, bro. Nah, it ain't my business. It's, it's somebody else's business, bro. I just have to... <laughs> Shit, no judgment over here, bro. I'm like, bro, I can't believe you got me in the confidence. I know you did. You told me we was going to dance. Like, what the hell? No, we not. Go get these trash bags and get your ass back in the house. Man. Boy. Boy. They told you Clarksdale was dangerous. Not where you go find a chick at. That means don't play around in Clarksdale. Last thing you want to be doing is looking at a woman while you're in Clarksdale. Mississippi. You know where they can't even tell that much. Hey, like, nah, but, but it's all about. Yeah, I, I understand. But at, at, at the at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Queen, it's all about you. It's all about you. It all comes down to you, and the way that you want to deal with your situations. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody, don't, don't let nobody. Huh? I said, as a woman, we need our men, we need help. Right? I know. I know. But don't let anybody, don't let anybody take you off your square. Don't let anybody, don't let anybody take you off your square. As you are a queen, you are righteous. You know what I'm saying? And that's what all my queens and my kings that need to realize. That's what all my queens and my kings need to realize. You're righteous. You are that. You are all that. Right. You know, so you're and all of that. That's who we really are. That, that's who we are. We, we are, are strong. We are so strong. I, I, I'm going to get into this. We are so strong. We are so strong. They fear us. They fear us. Why do they fear us? It's not. They don't fear us because of our brawn. They don't fear us because of our aggressiveness. They fear us because when we wake the hell up, we are too smart for them. Which we are. That's what they fear. They fear our brain. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? They fear our brain. They fear what the hell we can do. Because if you know this, how many, how many races do you know that can put people together like us. None. None. There's nobody that can put people together like us. The March on Washington. Uh, uh, the Million Man March. Uh, 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 all these things that we put together. You know what I'm saying? When the Million Man March came out, we was awesome. Exactly. That was going to be a big boom. Exactly. And they they, they exactly. And then they, they take us off of our square. Whoa. They 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 they, 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 met, they they mesh our minds up to make us say, Oh, you guys don't wanna do that. You guys don't wanna do that. You're gonna go over here. No 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 we need to we need to continue sticking together. We need to continue uniting. We need to continue educating our young men and women. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we are meant for. We're meant to bring each other together. They know who and what we are. Yes. They do. They, do. they know who and what we are. We are that strong. Did you see that? 
it was a sea of blackness, a sea of power. Like exactly, was, I'm about our exactly. Men, our men, we have, it was, oh my God, that scared the shit out. We have so much power, they scared. They're scared. But the whole time, they dumbed us down so bad. They dumbed us down with the jet. They dumbed us down with the jet. They dumbed us down with the jet. It's only two jets in this world. Yes, we. They made it so complex and all this other crap. It's just like, yeah, let's just get back to the basics. Exactly. Exactly. But the whole time, that's what they want us to do. They want us to get back to the gangster. You know what I'm saying, but but we're trying to we're trying to elevate above that. We're trying to elevate to a spiritual level. Cause once we, once we get that celestial level, who tell them King, tell them King, it's when you get easy. that when you get that celestial level, that celestial level, when you get they that celestial level, they me. cannot bring you back down. They can't they can't take they can't take you off your square. They can't do nothing. Why? Because you're too powerful. You're too right. powerful. It ain't, you know what it ain't saying? worth it to stoop down to that point. Is that? Is that? You know, and that's, that's what King was. That. Yeah, ahead, that's man. what King was talking about. That's what King was, King was talking about. Never let nobody put you back in that aggressive standpoint. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? I don't need to be aggressive to let you know how I stand. I don't need to be aggressive. Not at all. All I gotta do, all I gotta do, all, all I gotta do is let my voice go deep. Speak very, speak, speak very soft, <laughs> but very firm. And then you're backing up. You're backing up. Oh. Like I have, I have the smart and the intellect as a woman. Yes. To scope that's what we need, to y'all. And not put my man in a situation to where I can defuse right, him or right. avoid a situation. Right. Because as a woman, your man is like you're done. Don't pull right. it out unless you want to shoot. Right. So if you know that if you put yourself, you women know what they're doing. Exactly. They know what they're doing, and they end up putting their man in a situation where they're going to have to defend them in an aggressive manner that just blows up. And goes left when possibly she could have just not gave eye contact to that guy, or she possibly could have declined in a better manner instead of being all ignorant and, and loud and shit and trying to embarrass somebody. Like she has yes. to control the situation before she brings in her reinforcement. And that's what we need. That's what we need. See, for the women, for for our queens, we need you guys because you guys are our backbone. We are the strength. We are we we're, we're the strength and intellect, but you guys are a backbone because women, you guys got so much strength, man. Uh, there's so many guys out there that's that's, that's 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 neglected to realize that you guys got that strength that they don't know. So that's why that's why you got guys like me and King to come out and be like, dude, you guys gotta realize, man. It don't just take it don't just take a king, it takes a queen too. It takes both of us. It takes both of us, man. It's the balance. That's it. That's the balance. The purpose of this platform and what we have been created is our beginning to get out the sandbox and don't take tables and don't take the table and start having solutions and talking it out and fixing it and taking accountability both sides and fix it. Stop pointing fingers because that one finger you yes. point, you, got three, you got three fingers pointing back at you with that one finger pointing. So you got to exactly. You exactly. Got just like just like just like they said down in the comments. We have the strength where we don't have to be physical. We don't. We think we have to be physical. We think we have to be physical, but we don't have to be physical. All we have to do is use our mouth. And they're scared. They're scared of that. They're, they're so scared. They're so scared of our mouth. Thanks. That's why they're trying to shut us up. And that, and and that be the so thing, though. But the, be the beautiful thing is that we know how to maneuver. Like, you know, there's so many words that we can use, you know what I'm saying, to say the things that we're trying to say to infuse it into the people to the point it's like, bro, <laughs> 
they only make us yeah, stronger exactly. when they make us adapt like that. You feel me? Exactly. They just make us exactly. stronger, make us strengthen our dialect. Because first of all, the language that we speak, you know, the, or that we that was forced upon us, um, it doesn't even fully <laughs> encompass all the emotional uh, spectrum that we have as a people. So that's it why really we take don't. certain words and we use them multiple times to try to express ourselves. But, you know, those words don't they technically mean the same thing. Okay? Right, right. And the thing is that, that we are the only ones that can, that, that, that can formulate. We are the only ones that can formulate our dialect like that. Right. Nobody else, nobody else can take another word and make it mean the same thing. <laughs> we perfected that. <laughs> we perfected that. <laughs> and, and if they do, then they must admit also that this language was forced up on them. Exactly. Exactly. And at that point, you know, as a people, you know what I'm saying? We got to get past a lot of things. It's like, dang, hold on. If time don't really exist, then I don't got no reason to be mad at my neighbor in traffic exactly. and holding me up. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Like, because what did, what? Go ahead. Oh man. He froze. He froze. Gotta be at this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I gotta be at that energy. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna say, if you truly are that energy, you begin to work. Man, we in Clarksdale, Mississippi, y'all. Can y'all? <laughs> it's just, it's just like, it's just like Einstein. You, it's funny you that you brought up time. It's, yeah. it's funny that you brought up time, because Einstein said time is relative. Time is relative. Time does not exist. Right. Because if you right. look at it, if you look at it, it says that our Lord and Creator, mm -hmm. one day is a thousand. One one of our days is a thousand of His. So does time really matter? Thanks. Come on now. Time does not matter. It? Time does not matter. I really didn't you know, grasp that until I started working last year when I got off the plantation when I got off the plantation like I started working for myself and you just see the sun up and down and like it really does not exist exactly it, exactly it, because you like, right like, really like this and it's really not that. time is just another way for the I'm not even gonna say white people because that's white people that that's white people that that's on our side, but time is for the the powers that be to control us. Time is another way for them to control us. Right. That's it. Exactly. Exactly. I don't miss so many comments. I'm gonna be watching this shit. Yes, time is an illusion. <laughs> time is an illusion. It is. It is. That's like our that's like our English language. You know our English language is ain't nothing but a spell. Yes. Our English our English everything you say in English language, when you say something, you make somebody wanna do something. Yes. It's witchcraft. Nice. Right. So, so the whole time, so you gotta look at all this outside the box. You know what I'm saying? And be like, dude, everything that we was taught in the schools is it, useful. It's useful. It's useful, but it's you have to you have to know how to use it. You have to know how to use it because of what. But it's right. people, if you know if you're looking for the truth, because everything that they say ain't the opposite and they put the truth. Like, exactly. Exactly. And that's the thing, man. That's the thing with, 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 with us as black people. We go through a lot of trauma, especially us men. Us men. I'm not. I'm not trying to take up for us, men. Yeah, of course. We do some. We 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 do some wild stuff. We do some wild stuff. But, but us men, we are told as young kids 
Stop crying. Be a man. Suck it up. Wipe some dirt on it. You know what I'm saying? So okay. So if I'm if, if I'm holding everything in, so I, one of three things is gonna happen. I'm gonna go out there and show my aggression. I'm either gonna get shot and killed. I'm either gonna go to jail or they're gonna put me in a psychiatric ward. Because I can't show my feelings. But I can't let somebody you know. You can show your feelings. It's just it's just a way to go about it. Because you have some that show their feelings, but it's really a way of manipulating the situation. That's, that's, that's only one. That's only one way to truly show your feelings, and that's to talk it out. Right. But back then, they didn't want us to talk it out. Because every time we go to our parents, oh boy, I, I, I don't worry about that. I'll suck it up. Suck it up. I'm sitting up here crying. It hurts. It hurts. I'm hurting right now. But you're telling me to suck it up. This is my theory on where I think that comes from where to suck it up, right? So I'm in, I'm out here in Georgia. My roots come from Vidalia, Georgia. We in we in southeast Georgia, like home of the sweet onions. That's the Vidalia onions. That's that's the town that my, my great grandmother was from. And she died at 102 in 2017. So and I want, I was raised, I'm a grandma kid, last key kid, and I want to sit up with all my elders and listen to the stories. It's still cotton fields down there. It's still tobacco fields down there. Like, they still picking tobacco and cotton. Like, it's still like that. It's still KKK. It's still that, right? So, the whole suck it up and man up, because the black men in those days, and even now, they were being, um, Is it what they mean? Like they were just being abused. That like boy, you know what I'm saying? Or butt breaking, raping, doing all types of unmentionable, all types of sadistic shit to them, to where it broke them, to where they couldn't even protect the woman. And what's crazy is it wasn't that long ago. It's well, still a fresh wound. That's a deep ass wound. I, I, so it's, 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 still, it's still, it's still going, it's still going on. They still, still going. lynch you. They still, they're but, still demeaning them. They're still calling them boys. So it's like the whole toughen up, toughen up is because you know they know the black men that they go through so much. It, it, it's, it's, it's just weird. It's a real psychotic thing for black men, and I feel bad for them, which trickles over to the black woman because she has to watch this. She has to watch her man be broken down. She has to watch and be helpless. They can't receive the protection from her black man. Her children, son and daughters have to watch the head of the household, the head of the household get broken down. Like, it's yeah. so much. Because even a black woman, you get the same stigma of being too strong and too masculine. But that's because our black man was being broken down and we had to. But the crazy, it's still going on to this day. To, 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 like, I don't, to, to, I don't to want to feel like I'm cotton fields going around and them, and them, them, them flags and, and like, that shit is go. Get out the city and go hit them country streets to see where it is. It's still going on to this day. Mm-hmm. And that's why so many black women that be on here on TikTok <laughs> that 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 be that be that be rooting for the big man, that be rooting for the black man, that, and and I I I man, I I be like, man, thank you, thank you for that, thank you for that, thank you for that, because we need that, we need yeah. more and more black women doing that, man, because all the time we need the black men to know, dude, it's okay, dog, it's okay, it's a, don't don't stay there. It's okay to cry, but don't you stay your butt there. Don't stay there. Cry, talk that's about it, move I'm past it. Say. Huh? Don't live, that's what I'm trying to say. Don't stay there. Yeah, don't sit there. Don't sit there. Don't don't sit there in your feelings. But yeah. cry, talk it out, get past it, yeah. and then we can build a stronger. We can build a stronger unity. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if, if no black man knows that, and all they thinking of is I can't cry, I can't talk to nobody, I can't confide <laughs> in nobody, that's what I'm saying. If they're thinking I can't confide in nobody, they're not going to get past it. And we're still oh, going to be stuck in the I'm same old circle. That's <laughs> what I'm going to step in and say I blame the black woman because we don't know how to love. We're too scared of love because everything that we love gets taken away. And so we don't know how to console our black men and, and be able to give them the love that they need and the encouragement that they need 
to be able to stand up. So we're so aggressive, but we was, we're raised to be independent. And I'm, mm-hmm. I know, I'm seeing when I lived over in Saudi Arabia, I'm over there with Ethiopian, yeah, yeah, yeah. Swedish, Finnish, yeah, yeah, yeah. all these different, you know, European and African children. And I'm noticing how they're being talked to. Their dad yes, and their mom sure. is sweetheart, princess. They're real gentle with them. They're teaching them how to cater. They're teaching them how to love. They're, they're mm-hmm. talking with them, right? But me, American black girl, to independence. My mama, she, now she was rough. I ain't gonna do that. But it was like, you need, I was a candy striper. I'm 10 years old and I'm still working for free. I'm volunteering. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't know what a candy striper is. It's basically, yeah. I volunteer at my school. So I'm doing that on grip. Like, she's already gotten me at the table with her paying bills. Like, it's already an upbringing of you got to be strong. Right. I'm literally being yeah. told you got to be strong. So I'm being That's raised so. to be independent and solid and stand on my own, too. And my friends who I'm outside um, playing with, they're being taught to what? to prepare for a husband, to prepare for a man. I'm already being told I ain't going to have one to live with me. For what? I got a friend. So when, when we get out here in our 40s and stuff like that, you know, we, we're not, we don't know how to create that environment for our men to feel vulnerable but not feel like punk. Hey, I didn't I didn't learn that until I went to therapy. I went to therapy and my oh, therapist gosh. actually told me she said it's not your fault. I was like, "What?" She said, "It's not your fault. Everything that you went through is not your fault." Right. And she had me Good thinking. She she had, I hated her. I hated my therapist cuz she brought feelings out of me. Wait, she she brought feelings out of me that dude I wasn't used to. Dude, I she had me crying, dude. Like, like I was balling. I was seriously balling, and I was I hated her. But then I felt something like in my chest. It was it was hot. It was it was hurting. It wasn't it was it it wasn't a heart attack, but it was like hurting. It it it, it, it wanted to get out. You know what I'm saying? So. As soon as that got out, I took a deep breath. With that fire, baby. Yeah, okay. I took I took a deep breath. I was like, I was like, you know what? Thank you. I was like, thank you. I was like, I love you, man. I told my therapist, I said, I love you. Nobody's ever brought that out of me. I love you. You know what I'm saying? But at first, I hated her. I hated her. I went the fuck. The, what the hell are you doing to me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what are you doing to me? Like, why is he you know doing me like this? Yeah, why are you doing me like this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then when it came out, I was like, man, I love you, dude. I love you. I, I, right. And that's that's why that's why I changed my name to to uh, Melanie King Peer Coach because I want every. I was in a mental prison. I was in a mental prison. Spent seven months in my house, didn't do nothing, didn't take a shower, didn't do nothing. I was in a mental prison. And when she brought me out of that, man, I was like, I was like, dude, what the hell am I doing to myself? Uh, I, I vowed that I would never, I, I do not ever want anybody to go through a mental prison like that again. Thank I, dude, if I right, can help right. somebody, if I can help, if I can help one person, if I can help one person, and that person helps that's, one person. And that person helps one person. And that person helps one person. Dude, I just helped the whole world. That's by helping one person. And believe it or not, it, believe it or not, that's what happens every time you open your other, mouth. And that's my thing. I'm always saying, like, we have to learn how to decompress with each other. You're right, other. King. But the women need to learn how to create. They have to start loving on themselves and stop being so tough and being this independent. It's okay to be independent. But you don't have to be so independent to push that you, away that you push off the help yeah. that you need. You need a man. Right. I don't care. I'm not listening to you. you. need a man just like a man needs a woman. That's how we need each other. <laughs> you do it by yourself, but it's easier to do it with, to have a partner. Because when you get old, you also have to think when you get old, yeah. who can you trust with your social? Who can you trust if you got to be catch dementia or Alzheimer's? That's going to have your back and take care of you. you need to go exactly. To the like exactly. You, you need a partner. You need that someone to wipe your ass when you get old. You yep. need that, that someone to help fight. you get your medication. And like, why do people feel like y'all not going to get old? Y'all going to keep being in these streets? When I'm you a woman. Dang, you know what? You know what? 
really like and i want to you brought up something that i feel like a lot of people just need to break down the science they just need to break down the science of what's going on so people can stop being played but at the same time some people just gonna play into it anyway because they rather just fit in well right when it comes to you know wondering why certain people are still acting like young folk or um it seemed like you know how they used to say uh 30 is the new 20. right um, the reason why people keep getting that concept is because when we get into the consumer industry, you feel me? Uh, let me show you my background, just to show you, you know, the consumer industry is very big, you feel me? So in order to <laughs> make sure that they got constant consumers, you need people that are constantly thinking that right. they are young and they, they still got time to get their shit together or oh, they ish time. together. Um, <laughs> so when you start looking at... <laughs> when you start looking at the people that's like, all right, it used to be at 30, you know, people were settling down, you know, working towards their life insurance policies, you know, making sure their kids got life insurance policies, stuff like that. Instead, right. now in the 30s, you're seeing people being like, shoot, I'm finna go on a girl's trip, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm finna go on a fella's trip, you know. It's more about things that was that you was concerned with when you was fresh out of high school. Like, you know, now can't nobody right. tell me I can't and go do this type of stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. People just doing things because they've been suppressed. You know, if we be for real, a lot of people been suppressed with the, what's up with the case? A lot of people been suppressed with, uh, you know, being on lockdown. We'll, we'll use that right. for example. Right, um, right. Being on lockdown for so long has caused for a lot of people to come out and show they tail and don't even realize that's what they doing for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, they don't even they realize they out here acting, acting real childish. Like my I had same, a woman. Like same, what we doing? Like you're not gonna waste my time. Right. <laughs> I had a woman. I had a woman tell me. I said, check this out. She said, check this out. Break this down. She said, I want to be able to know that if you lose all your bodily functions, if you lose all your limbs. <laughs> If you lose all your limbs, will I be able to take care of you? Or will I walk away from your ass? <laughs> I was like, I had to think about that for me. I was like, I was like, you're right. Say what? What's okay? You're right. Because if I lose my body functions. Say what? If I lose my body functions and I lose my I lose the loss of my limbs, I won't be able to take care of myself. And it's just like Queen just said. Big old face. If so, if somebody can see themselves taking care of you through all that, that's love. Right. That's love. Because if somebody can't see themselves doing that, and, and you lose all that, they, they, they leave you? Right. Yeah, dude, you must have did something very, very bad because <laughs> they don't want to be around you. You know what I'm saying? But as she had me thinking about that, I was like, dude, that's, that's, that's righteous. That's righteous. Because yeah, if somebody... It, purpose, not just to be yeah. Somebody, so exactly. Purpose. Exactly. Yeah. There's, a lot of, there's a lot of women that's not willing to do that. No. That's not what... Do uh, what? That's not willing to do that because uh, stick with somebody when they, lose, when they lose complete control of everything. And they have to be taken uh. care of. I mean, you know, I ain't making an excuse I mean, for it, but you know what I was talking about earlier when people done been conditioned, right? And so people do certain things, right? When you live in a society where it's like a basically a dog eat dog, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody's yeah. trying to pay their bills, everybody's trying to do this. Like after a while, you know, what I realized is once you lose your usefulness, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't yep. want to be of service or be a servant to their family, but... You know, that's how I felt my position was in the family, you know, to be of service. And yep. I felt like as long as you done been of service to somebody, when you do get to the point that you can't do, even if it ain't the person that you feel like should have been there for you, somebody going to step in that gap, you know what I'm yep. saying, and make sure you are all right. Um, you might just have to learn a, a tough lesson of, you know, those people that you would have crashed for won't even put their hand on the dashboard for you. Like, meaning they not going to give them a whip with you. Like, exactly. you was willing to crash for them, but now it's time to ride because somebody's trying to slide on you. They like, eh, no. And like you said, I'm you lose you. your faculties. You know, they're yep. the same people turn their back on you. Um, yep. 
But I so, think also in our in our community though, this is another thing we got to talk about. Um, with our common unity of looking of this essence, acting the way that we do, and our community is not promoted to be there for each other. Like you know, exactly. ride or dies get mocked. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. They not told the truth of what a ride or die really is. Like the whole concept of ride or die came by way of recognizing it can go so many ways with us. Yeah. Uh, what you want to say, Case? Can't hear you. I was putting my glasses up. I ain't, I oh, ain't oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but ride or die came by way. Good to see you though. Ride or die came by way of you know recognizing it can go so many ways. So be prepared for it all type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. And, and a lot of people, they get in these situations for fair weather reasons. Like, you know, they tell men, you know, don't get with no women who ain't got it all. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the package is that the man looking for and vice versa to the point it's almost like a robbery. You know what I mean? You ain't, you ain't going to try to rob nobody who don't feel like got nothing. You right. But we get in these situations where robbers outlooks, meaning we only in it for what we can take from it. Exactly. When we feel like it's nothing we can take from this situation, we, we like, you know, it used to be, what can I hang on to? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, oh, what and can the hang I on was, to? but you know, the hang on was like, yeah. when you felt like giving up on the situation, right? But that person still treated you right. That person was there for you before in life to the point you like, you know, I can always hang on to the fact we got this level of a bond. You see what I'm right. saying? And now, instead of that, you got, hey, man, what have you done for me lately for real? Like, Exactly. Yeah. Scare me. Exactly. And it's because I mean, that gap. Not, and then you got, it's also, but it's and then also because of the gap, though, y'all. Right. We also got to think about this gap. You know that gap of the have and the have oh. not. Remember, it used to be oh, a so-called yeah. middle class. As you start yeah. clinching that wall or closing in the walls on women as well as men, because by the time the walls start closing in the men, you know we make up the wall. We them dead bodies making up the wall at that point. So yep. that woman got to do what she got to do in that moment. And it's often coming from a place of desperation. So for me, I can't, I can't really hold it, hold it against her. But I will point out, you know, the little carcasses on the way to where she, she at. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So why but, we don't know how to build it? Why you know how they don't know what you bring to the table? Well, well, we, we don't want to have no bill conversation for real. Stop saying that. That brings what you bring to the table irritates me so bad. I, I don't like that. I don't like that because I, I'm, I'm the one. I'm the one that believes. I'm the one that believes. If I get with you and we both ain't got nothing, well, why don't we build something? Why don't we build something? If if you if a man comes to me. I feel like if a man no, ain't say, what you. are you bringing to the table? I don't even want to have no more conversation with you because why ain't it okay, babe, you in that room and I'm in this room. What you need for that room so I can bring it to that room? You feel what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. right. There you go. Together. <laughs> but that's how I'm that you bring it to the table. table conversation is so dull to me. But that's, okay, so bring it to, it's two ways to mean it. To bring it to the table as far as a man being egotistical, like what you can do for me. When I say right. bring it to the table, it's like we got a table because we're not in the sandbox. We finna come to the table and talk this out. Okay, now this what I got. This what you got. All right, we at the table. We meeting other minds. We build it. What right, it can't go you. both ways. It can't got, go two ways. And that was the original. That was the original intent. That was the original intent. Okay, so yeah. what you got. You know what I mean? Like, what you bring in that can benefit but, me. That's how people see it. They, and that's why it irritates me so much. But, it's, it's not what you bring in or what I'm bringing. It's like, what can we build What together? can we build? That's yeah. What I want to build my foundation. Yeah. And personally, I'm not building my foundation off no damn table. I don't know if your table plastic, wooden. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all silly. 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 <laughs> it can start off being a plastic table. It can start off being a wood table. But, uh, <laughs> it, can, it can be a glass table. <laughs> yeah, hell, boy. It's a big something stronger. Yeah. 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 But see, the thing is, you got to look at it this way, too. You got to look at it this way, too. Men, women, the man is the structure. The woman is the foundation. Mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. your foundation is shaky... What's that structure going to do? What's that structure going to do? That structure's going to fall. Right, so who, who got the drill? Who got the drill? Go ahead and tighten up these screws. That's a new building. You hey, I, I definitely got about four drills. 
That's what I was saying when I was saying, like, okay, you in this room, babe. I'm in this room. What you need for this room? You need the screws for this room? That's where right I was coming from. Right. That's exactly. what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's all, but I'm on the same page. Exactly. When I bring it to you, that's what I mean. I'm not right, saying right. what you bring to me. I'm saying what you bring to me. Hey, that's funny, though. That's funny, though, because we was talking in the beginning about how <laughs> or like we use certain right. words and right. then we, we mean certain things with them. So it's good that we bringing back these old phrases, like, because it used exactly. to be a conversation with, with the older generation where they would sit down at the table like, look, I like what we... Who's look, that? Snatch me up, but look, it used to be a thing <laughs> with the older generation oh, I where they would sit down at the table and be like, "Oh, no, you good?" <laughs> and they would be like, "Okay, so look, I like what we doing. You know, uh, what do you bring to the table? What I bring to the table? And let's put that together and make it some. You know what I'm right. saying? That's gonna be stable. You know, that was so called right. stability <laughs> back in the day. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, I, I still got the table my mama got me from. You know. <laughs> From my first room, you know, I had to wait a while to get my own room. You hear me, like, she. Look, is, is it chairs like, at the table? Is, is we but she bit. Bit. Hey, now nah, we got a few beanbag chairs, but that's better is for it, your back. Is and it your, food and... on the table? Hey, man, oh I'm yeah, we definitely, hey, we chair. definitely got some food. I want me a beanbag chair. <laughs> you feel me? You gotta have a beanbag chair. For real. <laughs> but uh, being a man myself. I, I can admit my flaws. I can admit my, I and, and the thing is, and that's another thing my therapist had me had me look at. What did I do? Why why could why couldn't I keep a relationship? What did I do wrong? Mhm. Mm I tell you what I did wrong. I tell you what I did wrong. <laughs> I was I was selfish. What are you doing? What were you doing? I I was okay. selfish. I was selfish because I work. went into the I went into the relationship yeah, so you like, like it. expecting to treat yeah. her like I thought she I, I thought she should be treated, thinking that I was doing good. Yeah, I was doing I was I was I was the, I was the top man. I was you know, no, what it was I didn't listen. Not not yeah. listen, yeah. not listen, but I didn't listen. I yeah, didn't listen, observe yeah. her. I didn't but, observe things. Is, I didn't observe. I didn't observe her favorite color. I didn't observe what what kind of food she liked. I didn't observe uh, what made her happy. What made her sad. What made her upset. Up, what what made her fear. You know what I'm saying? And I th I just went on and took that man role. Bam. That's what we what can't be doing. That yeah. we can't right, be right. doing that. We have to, when we first get into that relationship, you have to listen, and you have to listen. You have to observe her. You, you know what I'm saying? Look at her. Listen. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't learn. Don't, I'm, I'm so tired of these. Hold on. I, I'll let you talk. Hold on. But I'm so tired of these men going by females. So, hey, baby. So what you look for in a man? Why don't you pay attention? Why don't you pay <laughs> attention <laughs> to her? And then, and then you can find out what you want what you, what you, what you, with a man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Instead, right. instead, of going, instead of going to McDonald's and getting her a Big Mac, knowing that's not what the hell she wants, she wants Chick Fil A. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She wants Chick Fil A. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. could have known that. <laughs> so then, no, go ahead. Go ahead know, when you get with somebody, you have to learn their background because my background might be different than somebody, the person I'm talking to. Background, like I could be coming from a family or background and a person i'm talking to their family is dysfunctional and then like when it comes to like certain events and stuff right. it's gonna it's gonna cause havoc in the future right. because my family is like this but your family is like that so you're not used to this but i am you feel what i'm right. saying right it's deep just learning their love language you have to learn a history like where they come from yeah. like if you really that, that, that that's all part of observing that's mm -hmm. all part of observing because you have to pay attention you have to pay attention because if you're not paying attention, you don't really love them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I took my time, my effort, my energy just to pay attention to you. Just to know, just to know you. Just to know what you like. You know what I'm saying? 
And that's that's what it's all about. And none of us do that. We get in, oh man, she looks fine. Mm, I just want to be with her. Yeah, you want to be with her, but dude, do you want to be with her? Do you want to be right, with right. her? Or do you want to be with her? You know what I'm saying? It's two you different things. Exactly. You trying to get with her, but do you want to be with her? Now, if you want to be with her, you're going to learn all that. You're going to learn all that. You're going to take your time. You're not even You're not even going to even think about sex for a good... Okay, I, I'm, I'm a human, so I was for a good three months. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna go long on this. I'm not gonna go long in three months. But for a good three months, you're not gonna think about sex. You're gonna think about what is it about this woman that I like besides her looks. Right. And then in her actual love language. In her actual love language. You know, so what is her love language? It's My different. love language. I'm not gonna lie. My love language is physical touch. And intelligence. Cause I love sitting up in the bed talking to you. I talk your ear off. Man, you walk you a good combo. If you can't, if you cannot deal with that, then don't even be with me. <laughs> Cause I will talk your ear off. And we can yeah, talk. We can talk about spirituality. Man, we can talk about spirituality. We can talk about movies. Anything. I will talk your ear off. I like conversation. Right, right. Yeah, you got like seven that. beautiful yeah. people in here. If y'all could, if you would, tap that screen like you trying to knock the wood. Drop a comment. Let me hear you. Go ahead, y'all. No. But that, that's the thing that we all... It's not just... It just doesn't go off the guys. It goes off the females, too. Females. You have to, you have to learn him, too. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry, Casey. Go ahead. Man, I used to have six boxes. What happened to my six boxes, man? I took them. I took them. <laughs> Did you know I bought TikTok? I bought TikTok. Yeah, I, you guys only limited to four. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love TikTok. Don't do that. <laughs> no, I, I thought everybody had six boxes now. I got six boxes. Hey, I thought, yeah, I thought everybody had six boxes now. But What's anyway, up, Casey, man? go ahead. Man, he did. I'm sorry. I, I did at one point. I don't know why. Did they take him? Did they, did they take him from you? Oh, there you go. There you go. You changed him. Uh -huh. You don't got it. You only got. You don't got. Oh, you only got four. That's crazy. That's four. I like that. I like that one. <laughs> hey, I like that one. Be great, but it's all right. We on our way. We on our way. You see yourself, though. That's your fault. They don't want to see me be great. What happened? How <laughs> how they take boxes? Say what? I don't know. I said that's your fault, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> You don't want to clock in. That's your problem. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know how to I don't know how to clock out. You hear me? So I already yeah. trip it. TikTok I know did. they gotta slow me down. You feel me? They know they gotta man, JJ, you better tell them we used to do marathons on here. Quick play. <laughs> we hey, I don't think nobody can out TikTok me. Honestly, you feel me? I was doing this on 24, 24. You can do it. 24, 24. They'll be like, go. Did you go to work? Oh. Hey, I'm still seeing you likes, bro. Still seeing you likes. I appreciate you, kid. <laughs> my fault. I, yeah, I met you on one of my 24 hours. Still, still, still seeing my brother likes. Man, I appreciate now, you. I, I realize you can't tap on the like, people because. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have any coins. I will give you out coin I will give you out gifts, but I ain't got no I'm broke. <laughs> yeah. I sent you some though. Let me let me send you some more. Hold on. We can't have it out of Oh man, yeah. you know, I appreciate you, Queen. <laughs> yeah, sweetheart. Really. Nah, but really though, man. Your skins look so good tonight, sis. Nah, um, man. Your skin look good tonight. Thank you, that's that filter. Appreciate it. 
Whatever, that's all that's that really. Really. I need to shave. Whatever, that's all them remedies you done took today, too, trying to clear your sinuses. Got you with a little they glow. Going on. Yet. Y'all got to excuse me? Y'all got to excuse me? My hairline? My hairline went all the way down to my face, so. Hey, hold on, hold on. What do you say? What do you say, bro? What the fuck? My hairline went down to my face. Yeah, it said. I, it said I look so. I, I look so good. Wanted to be close to my face. <laughs> I see you without oh, the remedy. You got the uh -oh. real honey. Uh oh. I got turmeric, burdock, dandelion. Are you got easy. You got easy. You got easy. Is that for hairline? Elderberry, some blueberries. You got EJ for headlines? Catch it from right here, right here, right here. That's it. Right, JJ, the headline can walk now. I want, I want my, I want my headline back. I'm only, I'm only 43, man. I shouldn't have this. Damn, granddaddy. Oh, we do concentration. Damn, granddaddy. That's my guy. That's, that's my granddaddy's fault. Yeah, they got that spray skin stuff. That you I'll be blaming in. your granddaddy. It <laughs> <laughs> ain't my granddaddy's fault. Dude, if you saw my, if you saw, if you saw my granddaddy before he died, you you said yeah, it was his fault. <laughs> it was his fault. <laughs> that man, that man, shoot. I, my hairline looks hurt. just like his. My hairline looks just like his. I'm telling you. <laughs> that man has a I'm glad. I'm glad See, my people still see, got their hairline. Bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There's some black people out there. I'm jealous of. They <laughs> 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 still got their hairline. <laughs> It's alright, bro. I, hey, I know how to I put still, a hairline on. I still fine. I don't care. I don't I care. I still fine. I don't worry about that shit. I know, I know somebody else like it. Some <laughs> hair, I know that's right. I'll let you get tight. You hear me? I'll give you some of this new growth and let you put it right over them spots. Don't even worry about it. Right, right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I got don't you. Don't even worry about it. Man, why are you still, why are you still the frozen? <laughs> No, nah, I put a I put a picture. Oh, I put a picture because I had to put the picture up, my G. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Hey. Yeah, and plus, plus, um, plus, if you're driving, TikTok, TikTok will get on you for that. TikTok oh, yeah, will yeah, get on yeah. you for that. You know, I ain't been able to drive for a minute thanks to child support. But what's up, Saray? Okay, okay. I was gonna ask a question for my entrepreneurs. How do you what? handle my entrepreneurs? How do you handle small business inquiries? People who act like they window shopping instead of actually shopping, but they gas up. Oh yeah, I want this. Oh, you tell me you have to make sure so I can. Don't pay them no attention. Okay, I want to order this and I want that. Coin. You don't. Don't um go off of what they want to do, but go off of what they do. I ain't paying you no attention until I see something in that card and the transaction goes through. Right. Period. Come here, Junior. Because that's a waste of time at the end of the day. You gotta go all, you gotta take your time out of your day. <laughs> Why you walk like that? Well you be doing something you else. Like that? Because, you know what I mean? Like, you know, Look, come on. You, hey, you talking about this one? <laughs> Sorry to be so rude, but but not sorry. That's your business today. I learned that over the years. Like, it's, I don't even want to hear your order or nothing. It's a non-refundable deposit, and if you're really serious about it, you're going to send a deposit. Hey. Other than that, exactly. you're telling me you like the what you want to do with this Charlie Brown special over here. I love that damn song. It's, it's a waste of time. If you're not going to get it, it's a waste of time. Right. Like me telling you all of this, you can go onto the website and look at all of it. 
Do you want it or not? <laughs> no, man. It still has the bathroom. Though. Damn shit! You ain't gonna light my shit for me. Oh, I ever catch you lighting damn shit, boy? I'm gonna put some of this in my mouth and I'm gonna burn my mouth. Put my shit down. Put shit down. That's why the that's why the hairline ran away because you over there got your eyebrows like that. Go, go. <laughs> what? You heard what I said? I said that's why your hair. I ran them people on my dad's phone. Always like this. <laughs> I got a fourteen year old son who won't leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Get out my face." Go. <laughs> As the boy, oh, okay. I got, okay. I got torches and 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 and. and, 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 and and butane and everything, right? It's full. Hey, what's this, Dad? Did you gonna put my damn shit down? What? <laughs> if I ever catch you with a damn butane torch, what's that? Go ahead. Okay. Huh? Don't eat them all. Well, that's all you do is, is eat, eat, sleep, and eat, sleep, and game. That's all you do is eat, sleep, and game, don't you? All right, JJ. <coughs> oh, oh. JJ said, no, oh, you're the That's all my son does is eat, sleep, and game. You see what JJ said? I said, you order, ball. Hey, man, I don't want to know. All I want to know is why did we create games? Because you know it was our fault. Atari, Nintendo, Sega. It was our fault. It was our fault. I was both the Nintendo and the Sega band. Man, Man and, and, because, and because of us, because of us, they came out with you're Xbox, tired of being, just like you're tired PlayStation. Of being, just say that shit. Just say what? <laughs> what? Just, just, just say you tired of being serious. You just gonna come out and with the up games. Just say you tired of being serious. <laughs> I had a Game Boy. I was all three. I had a Game Boy. <clears throat> no, man. I'm, just, I'm, I'm saying because look at our kids, man. Look at our kids. They're stuck in the. They're stuck in the games. I'm like, dude, get your get up, ass you outside. <laughs> Go play. <laughs> like, dude, don't play. I'm like, no. I don't know. You know I leave in a That's what that's why I ain't got no damn hair. I don't know, man. That's why I don't got no hair. Why? It was an easy way to pass time. Yeah. <laughs> I I keep doing I keep doing just stuff time. like this. <laughs> I keep rubbing rubbing it away. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> you know so, oh, that's nice. Is that a picture? Man, you cut you. You just fooled me, man. I thought that was real. <laughs> I thought that was real. I was like, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> nah, man. Straight up, though, man. Straight up. It's, it, 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 from, from us, it does trigger down to the kids, though. And I did. I, 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 it was, I had my share of. And uh, before we go back, And uh, before we go back on here, who in the world was playing that dang on song, man? Somebody let me know.
We need to talk. What's up, Amaya? Whoever's playing that song, we need to talk. Because you're going through some shit. Was it you, Casey? Who's playing that song, Casey? Was it you, Saray? Hold on, man. Somebody was playing music real loud. I don't even know. I was like, who is that? We need to talk. Y'all need some help. It probably was it probably was Melanie's son. It probably was his son playing that. Probably because it did get super loud and I It definitely wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely was not me. <laughs> I was like, hold up, bro. <laughs> it was going ham. I was like, get I was trying this. to tell you I like the background in the picture. Are you talking about this one or the other? Yeah, I can stand out there all day. Dude, that's what I be. That's where I'm at right now. I be bullshitting all the time. I don't be trying to act antisocial. If my friend ever hear this shit, like, I'm glad you and your family here, but uh, this background right here. <laughs> I get up first thing in the morning, go right outside. Period. With a cup of coffee. Man, what? I had what? some Ethiopian coffee the other day, and I don't even be on the coffee. What like is Ethi- but... Hold on. What is Ethiopian coffee? Bro, you just have to look it up. I think it's just like the thickest coffee you can find. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't and want that. That sounds dangerous. Bro, I'm talking <laughs> about it gets you together after a few sips. What's up, Miss Cox? Miss Cox, you out of control. I'm just gonna tell you that right now, just off of that name. Huh? Listen, I can't even. I can barely handle Starbucks, let alone some Ethiopian coffee. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> that Ethiopian get you right though. Like, uh, bro, mm-hmm. I wasn't even on it. You know what I'm saying? I was about to get ready to go to work, but shoot, I had a little sip of that, boy. I said, you had the jitters all day, didn't you? No, I actually was on on full player mode. You know what I'm talking about? I was at them people though trying to, you know, I was trying to get them bulbs and everything else I had. Like, shoot, I got bulbs for you. What else you need? You just let me know. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. So Ray, you had the cook the cookie um the cookie bubbles from Starbucks. Forget you. Now the only thing I get from Starbucks is the chai tea or white chocolate mocha. Man, that's chai tea the cookie cookies. fumble with mocha sauce. When I tell you that is addicting. That drink right there is addicting. Mm. So I'll try it if you... Oh well, you probably ain't gonna come on my side and drink no tea, though. <laughs> Listen, yeah. I'm not... I'm staying away from that Ethiopian stuff. No, nah, I said some tea now. Because I be drinking tea, you feel me? My grandma... My grandma had me on that coffee early. That's why I'm short now. You feel me? I posted at least been six foot. You know what I'm talking about? But it is what it is. How tall are you? I'm five six five seven. Oh yeah, you is short. We about the same height. Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least you ain't gotta worry if a nigga lying. I'm, we, you can look, we, we about the same height. Look, I'm four. I'm over here four ten. Talking about we about the same. <laughs> you silly boy. <laughs> you about my step by my height, but my step mama real big in spirit though. Like boy, we don't play with her. We do not play with her <laughs> at all. Don't nobody listen. Big like, things come in little packages, okay? Miss Brandy, Duche, what's up? That's facts. Dynamite does come in the small package. I said that messed up on purpose, y'all. So don't try to make fun of my pronunciation. I am on the greatest platform in the world, TikTok. So you know, it's helping <laughs> me with my diction. You know what I'm saying? Get my words together because I do speak the language of the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, <laughs> I had to realize this when you get around different people, bro. I've been talking to people from Russia and everything. Now, Melanie, I'll let you yeah. come back up here, but y'all got to turn off that Sam Walton or whatever his name, Sam Smith. That's his name. What are y'all, man? We up to all the good things and the bad things, Miss Brandy. But we were talking. <laughs> Goldmine don't want to get on camera because he's trying to be like me with the glasses tonight. Man, these hold on. First of all. <laughs> Your your glasses are the school teachers. You know what I'm talking about? Naughty school teachers. These are the, the, the naughty handsome Malcolms. These are the handsome Malcolms. 
not the naughty it's sweet a, secret. Uh, yeah, I got the these reflectors. These are the handsome. Okay, Saray. <coughs> yeah, these are the handsome Malcolms right here. You feel me? The ones I got on. These the Malcolms. You know what I'm talking about? They used to call me <laughs> Lil Red when I was a kid. So you feel me? I figure I hold up the line for Malcolm. You know what I'm saying? Hold up that line. <laughs> I leave nah, out. On some real. What you finna do? I told you, Jersey. You going to New Jersey? Yes. The film fest. Remember oh, I was telling you about that? Oh, snap. For you the movie? Finna, yeah, you finna do it. Do, do it. Do it. Do it, baby. Yeah, my plane leave at 10. Who are we? So, how many times you done been on the plane? This is my second time. For real? I just realized that I ain't the only one that don't just be doing that. You know what I'm saying? Until recently. Like, when my grandmother passed, you know, during COVID, man, bro, that was my first time on the plane. Like, I felt like I was up there with her for a little bit. Then I had to come down and go to her funeral. I was like, man, what's the odds of this? Right. Yeah, this is my yeah, second nah. time. Yeah, once you get on the plane, you be mad I had to get on the bus, taking out that time to get somewhere. You're like, man, ain't no way. Ain't, <laughs> ain't no, no need. <laughs> I'll be there. It's a two-hour flight. What's the most you will pay for a ticket, though? Because that's where they get you. Like, you know, you get so used to that convenience, but you'll pay that price. My round trip was 280 No, 380 Ooh. Hey, that wasn't bad. But you see what I'm saying, though? They don't be playing about them tickets. You hear me? It's an investment. You better not be late to that gate. That part. Because they don't get that money back. You hear me? You better not be late to that gate. I'm with my mama. I, bro, I know that's got to be the worst feeling in the world. Now, I know part. one time we was late because of, like, you know how you have uh two flights to get somewhere, you feel me? So yeah. my connecting flight, we was late for that, mother, but, you know, they took care of us and got us a little room or whatever. Yeah, in that, in so that case, that's cool. different. They're going to take care of you, but... If yeah. you late on your own will, nah, man. <laughs> nah, you on your own. That part. You on your own, Jack. <laughs> what was that so crazy, part. though, we was on the flight with a, um, like, he was a politician. Matter of fact, I think he was a New Jersey politician, too. Yeah, yeah, man. He had delayed the flight so he can get on that mud and DM at us late for our connecting flight. I'm like, bro. I'm talking about we was delayed for at least an hour, G. I'm like, bro, there's some more. Then his meathead butt get on the plane like, get your meathead ass on those gunny smile. Bro, I'm <laughs> taking our day. That part. <laughs> Some people got a noggin on them, you feel me? Like a, a real noggin. Like, I thought I had a big head until I seen somebody head bigger than mine. I was like, bro, your you head got ain't a big head. head. I think it's because your dreads cover your um. But that's because you, you, you done seen people with bigger heads. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. Like, Look, if you I cut your dread, think... you got that question mark in the back. What the hell is that? Nah, my <laughs> head got... don't even, it don't the... even do that. I'd be mad I don't got the question mark. Like, it don't even do that. My shit kind of, it kind of like a soldier jar head. Or, you know, I don't like that. No, shit. like, that's you know, that, that cuff, like, like right there, don't when you cut somebody in the back of the head, that's the question mark. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. She said, "Don't get there and have to throw all your stuff away because it's too big per the measurements." Ooh, don't you freak that? Mm. Mm. Or you get on there and think you're gonna be able to take your new cologne and lotion, and they talking about because it's open. Nah, bro, you better put my shit back. You better put that part. My I just bought that cologne. You hear me? Shoot. That's why I had to start making all my stuff now, yeah. We bring back the naturals line. Now that I'm divorced, you know, I got to bring back my naturals line. But I try to, but what, okay, what do y'all do about that? When you with somebody, right, and you building, y'all, you know, you building everything together, right? Then all of a sudden, this person jumps ship. It's like you. <laughs> You like, dang, you lose your favor or, you, you know, your vigor to want to do certain things. But then when you come back to it, you like, man, I could have been so much further along if I did not include you in my business. That part. That's why I drink my water and I'm on my business. I tell y'all that all the time. Drink your water and mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. say that all the time. And I say all the time. Drink your water and mind your business. 
<laughs> oh, I'm just saying though, because you know we some real entrepreneurs out here. I, I see, you know, I look at stuff. Yeah. I even tell my kids this: like, whenever you see something you want, think of how you could possibly make it. You know what I'm saying? So then oh, you don't gotta want it no more, but you know how to get it. You know what I'm saying? Or make it your darn self, whether it's even worth it. You feel me? Listen, and I just want mention, the blueprint so I can show my kids the blueprint, and they can show their kids the blueprint. And so baby. forth and so forth. That's it. Once I get the pooper, it's a wrap. It's a rid out. <laughs> Man, you gotta be. Boy, boy, boy. Mix Rickin in the building. We all, I think, I think Saray over there telling us to come over because she over there in the kitchen oh, whipping yeah. it up. No. Well, I'm just making my checks for the morning of my breakfast. Oh, your children. We blaming you. It just got mad quiet. What y'all doing? I thought everybody. I thought everybody said they was doing squats and getting ready for work. You said doing squats. Wait, did you say you thought everybody said they was doing squats? I don't pay you no What are we doing? Let me find out you scared. Can you me. Right here, me. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. <laughs> hold on. Man, hold on. What did I miss? Was you talking the whole time? Yeah, man, I'm over here talking. You just went out Boy, again. I ain't hear what y'all was saying. Good. What y'all was saying over here? What's up, Unfazed? We was talking about you, that's it. What y'all was out here saying, then? Nothing. Oh, for real? That's how y'all feel? <laughs> if it was meant for you, then you would have heard us. Two beautiful people was talking about me. We was talking about. Uh, we was talking about if you was still in a relationship or not. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> what you was what? Y'all was talking about the boxes. <laughs> the boxes. What? What are we doing? I don't know what we was talking about. What are we doing? What y'all was talking about? I don't know what we was talking about. Drink, I thought y'all was talking about y'all did y'all ten squats though, because the right thing she sleep talking about. I don't pay him no attention. That's her problem. That's her problem. So what? You look, you look, you look. I gotta get motivated to start walking and running and stuff. Okay, okay, Casey. Okay, so I know how to motivate. I'm gonna start working out every time I see y'all in my life. I'm just gonna start working out. Somebody gonna get the vibe. I'm gonna watch. You. I'm not gonna. Somebody. That's not gonna motivate. Me. <laughs> Look, that's not gonna motivate me watching you. I'm gonna be like, go ahead, my boy, put the money in my hand. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Have a whole donut in my hand. Like, go ahead, my boy. <laughs> what they say scientifically, even if you watch it, you know, it gives out the fix. Half of the effects is though you have actually worked out yourself. You see what I'm saying? So I mean, you know. And see, I don't need to work out to lose weight. I just need to work out to tone up. And this is a disrespectful boy. I tell you what. I've never in my life been treated so disrespectfully. 
This thing going to see. You be trying to get a I think this winter I'm going to go hard. So my son will probably hit me right. Man, and all this winter I'm eating like crazy. I'm getting fat. I think I'm a. I'm you a. You've been trying to get it on lately, Miss Brandy. I know you have. Man, so when I, I come back next summer, y'all gonna be like, new body? Who boy. is that? I'm... She had a BBL. No, she didn't. She just worked out all winter. <laughs> mm hmm. The the original way. That the part. Original way, because for the most part, we got it. You just got to position that thing. As, exactly. As Ray would say, put it where it need to be. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty where it need to be. And that's why I thought everybody was finna bust out some squats tonight. Who? I don't know what happened? Not you trying to motivate us to start tonight. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> Look, that's why he froze. Cause he was. See, yeah, uh, I did my team. I'm on a water diet right now. I gotta apologize to these ladies like I just hung up. Man, now I gotta apologize to these ladies like I just hung up on these. <sighs> they got me looking crazy in these TikTok streets. I'm sorry, you guys. I feel like I'm being discriminated. I'm sorry, you guys. I feel like I'm being discriminated against with the signals. I think the data on my end. Discriminated against with the signals. I think the data on my end. <laughs> I did my team. Okay, Miss Brandy. What? How they gonna turn my feature off? I don't appreciate them turning my stuff off, G. It's talking about the co host feature is turned off. Since when? Who told them they could turn my stuff off? Multi guest feature for this room has been. What in the? All right, man. Before anything else crazy happen, I love y'all as myself, and it ain't nothing you can do about it, as we are one.